Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city, and the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Maji Adan Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note, follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target Sable weaponry and vehicles, including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bio-enhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super-soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we gonna do when we find him? Hey, MJ. I'm following the police to an Oscorp plant. Sounds like Hammerhead's guys are at it again. Got any updates on Yuri? Nothing yet. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. We were a good team. I mean, not like me and you, but, you know. I know. So listen, I've got a source at Oscorp. They're ramping up production of this Project Olympus equipment, which is probably why Hammerhead's men are attacking that plant. The Olympus contract is for Sable International, part of a deal she made with Osborne during the Devil's Breath Crisis. And I just learned it's all supposed to be shipping overseas to Simcaria. Simcaria? Silver Sable's home country. And also the site of an increasingly bloody civil war. Have you heard about this? No, I'm not really caught up on international news. Been a little busy with our own war here in New York. It's a hell of a story. I'll fill you in when we have more time. Yeah. It'd be nice to talk about something other than Hammerhead for a while. What do you think about taking a vacation when all this is over? Vacation? I'm not sure I know what that word means. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But seriously, we both need it. I'll start doing some planning. Let me know what happens to that Oscorp plant. Will do. Dance off? I love those! It's my turn! Come on, Spider Man! Let's play Save the Pigs! That's just rude. <laughs> That pack guy does not have good intentions with that. Oh, hello, ambush guys. Where'd your buddy go? No one's talking, huh? Maybe you just can't hear me over the sound of those jetpacks. Cool jetpacks, guys. Where do I get one? Let me guess. They fell off the back of the truck, right? <laughs> Having fun yet? Don't do this. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Come closer. I dare ya! Now, is that just a regular dare or a double dog dare? Is that yours? No? But it would be so awesome if it was. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Long time no see. Who do you work for? <laughs> he works for Hammerhead. Where is this Hammerhead? Whoa, whoa! Can't we, like, go grab a coffee and catch up like normal people? By the way, I love your new hovercrafty thing. Tell me everything you know. I talk a lot better without a gun in my face. You have three seconds. Just put the guns down. One. We really gonna do this? Two. Six.
six, nine, eleven, eight, seven, three. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a good guy. I am good at what I do. But I am not a guy. Lost in translation, I guess? <sighs> what happened to you can thank me by not dying? Hey, MJ. So guess who's back in town? Silver Sable, I know. How did you know that? It's my job to know things. So I imagine she's here to stop Hammerhead from stealing all her shipments. Which is good. Maybe you guys can team up. Yeah, that doesn't feel very likely at this point. Listen, I'm gonna keep looking into the Simcaria story. It's... That conversation was going nowhere! Screwball? How did you... Quick! Head to Ethan Perlman before me and my fans die of boredom! Uh, what is she up to this time? Better get there before she hurts someone. Spider-Man is a failure. You might think this would make me happy, and to some extent you'd be absolutely right. But today, I am tired. Tired of all the senseless violence continually afflicting our streets. Which that mass menace failed to put an end to. He failed to stop Hammerhead and his men, who are now using stolen Sable International weaponry to wreak more havoc than ever. And speaking of Sable, Miss Abuse of Power herself is back in New York, this time aboard some kind of fancy schmancy gunship. Where was that when the city was cowering under the terror inflicted by Martin Lee and Otto Octavius, huh? Collecting dust in a Centurion warehouse? Spider-Man couldn't have done us all a favor and just taken each other out. Well, if it isn't my favorite bug-themed superhero, ready for season three? Not really. Aw, turn that frown upside down. We're bringing joy to millions of fans. In fact, I've got big plans this season. If we hit 50 million followers, I'll throw an exclusive party for my loyal fans. Huge party, huh? Sounds like the perfect opportunity to shut her down once and for all. Better keep playing along until that party. Really hope Screwball is at the party IRL. Oh no! She's rubbing off on me. I have to get her behind bars before I turn into someone I hate. Hey Spidey, you know what blows? Half the city if you don't find all the bombs! Ha <laughs> ha! I really need to shut this stream down. But first, bomb duty. And now to the judges' scorecards. <gasps> Tens across the board! Hey, MJ. Sorry we got cut short earlier. Had to deal with Screwball again. You seem to have a lot of women in your life lately. And all of them challenging. Except for you, of course. Huh. Sorry, I'm, I'm usually web swinging. Um, no? Unless you want me to think you're challenging, in which case you, uh, challenge me in all the right ways. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep looking into Hammerhead's plans, and I'll call you when I find something... challenging. In the meantime, I'll swing around the city and do some Spidey stuff. Check it out. Hey, Peter. Uh, just checking in. You busy? Sort of. How are your assignments coming? You mean school assignments or spider assignments? Both, but school comes first. I'm all caught up on school stuff, working on spider assignments now. But why are you making me do physics and calculus equations? Shouldn't I be practicing with web shooters and gadgets and stuff? Okay, quiz time. If a pendulum is 40 meters long and attached at a 45 degree angle, how far will the pendulum fall at its lowest point? 11.72 meters, but why does that matter? It matters a lot if you're the pendulum. What? 
all these equations in your head, like, while you're swinging through the city? I have to. And so will you, if you want to get good at it. Wow. I had no idea. All right. Guess I'll get back to it then. I knew there was a reason some people call you the amazing Spider-Man. Folks, we need to talk more about this live streaming egomaniac screw. It's bad enough her show features and glorifies that narcissistic webhead Spider-Man, but her <laughs> shows, if you can even call them that, are putting hard-working New Yorkers in harm's way just so she can gain followers, whatever that means. Can't you see her ridiculous stunts are nothing more than a desperate ploy for attention? Come on, folks! You're smarter than that! By watching her shows, you're literally hurting yourselves! So, what should we do instead, Jonah? Here's an idea. Tune into my show instead. The only thing I'll hurt you with is the truth! Damn! That's a good line. Write that one down, Jared! Let's use it in the next promo! The viewers have voted, and they want to see more gadget combos! You know the drill, Spidey! Combine your gadgets and get creative! Looks like I gotta play along! Now that's what I call great content! My fans have been looking for a troll whose avatar looked awfully like a Spider-Man suit. Ah. I need to put these guys back behind bars for good. Nailed it! Bravo! The followers are pouring in after that performance! <gasps> we did it! 50 million followers! Oh, the party starts now! See y'all there! Sorry, Webhead, you're not invited! But I still love you. <laughs> Screwball is the ultimate narcissist. There's no way she'd miss her own party. Gotta find out where it is. Maybe one of her fans posted something about it. If only I knew someone who had time to scour a bunch of social media posts. Hello? Hey, hey Pete. I'm just checking in. Miles, are you... Did you just hear what I said? You said hello. Ah, guess your timing is just weirdly perfect. Anyway, I got a mission for you. Like a spider mission? Oh man, let's do this! I need you to look through social media and find the location of Screwball's 50 millionth follower party. Oh, okay, sure. I'll call you as soon as I find something. While I wait for Miles, I can do some Spidey patrolling. Open up! Or we'll open it for you! Leave me alone! Gotta get to that driver before they do. Take this easy on yourself and let us in. Nothing like taking down a bunch of criminals to brighten your day. Thanks, Spider-Man. That was a close one. Hey, MJ, what's up? Hammerhead guys are hitting an Oscorp shipping facility near Seaport. Got it. I'm headed there now. Question for you. We knew Hammerhead stole most of the Sable weapons already and a bunch of equipment from police lockup. Now he's stealing Sable tech that's bound for Simcaria. Where is he putting all this stuff? No idea. But if we can find out where, we can cut off his supplies. I'll try to cross-reference his men's activity with the city map. See if I can't nail down a location. Good plan. Hey, so I've been reading up on the situation in Simcaria. There's a ruling dictator attacking his own people. Apparently Silver Sable's been working alone to arm the rebels and fight back, but she's losing. Sounds like she could really use the stuff Hammerhead is stealing from her. Explains why she's so angry and desperate. Maybe, but I also think that angry is just her default emotion. I'll let you know what I find at the shipping facility. Miles, what do you got? Check it out. Miles, that's great. Thanks so much. You 
you want me to meet you there? Just in case you need some backup? No, but don't worry. We'll get you out in the field soon enough. Cool. Okay, can't wait. Like, literally, waiting is really hard. <laughs> I know, Miles, I know. Talk soon. Okay, rooftop party in your church and brew. I think the saddest thing about Screwball is that, in a way, she's a victim of her own fans. Most criminals have an end goal, but I don't think Screwball does. She's just a social media addict. As long as her fans keep giving her validation, she's going to keep doing more and more dangerous stunts. Which is why I need to stop her tonight. Okay, Screwball must be here somewhere. Unless she's faking me out again. This feels like a party she'd want to attend. Don't move! Come on! The world is watching! Just because people are watching, it doesn't mean you're any better of a person! Wow! Mood killer! Try to keep the banter like fun, okay? You only caught me because I wanted you to catch me! Look how many followers I gained! Yes! Yeah. You know who I am, right? <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. Mind if I live stream on the way to the station? Officially unfollowed. It turns out traditional media isn't dead quite yet. <laughs> Not that any of my listeners ever had a doubt. They're used to getting world-class content on a regular basis. But I'm, of course, talking about Screwball and her live streaming band of bandits finally getting yanked off the air. Or the web. Whatever. The point is, we can all once again rest easy knowing we don't have to live in constant crippling fear of the awful sound of a so-called internet personality spewing nonsensical acronyms into the ethernet. Internet. Whatever. How is this for a meme, screwball? Goodbye. What do you mean that's not a meme? Of course it is. I just made it one. He's here! Get moving! Hey, don't leave! I just got here! She's gonna kill someone! Modernizing his workforce, those drones are going after Sable. That should help her, right? right? Sable, I just want to make it very clear. I'm trying to help you right now. Get off. Sure thing. As soon as I take out the rest of these drones. Hammerhead. If I talk, he'll kill me. So you do what you gotta do. Look, we both want the same thing. If we work together, we'll find him. Trust me. Right. We work together. Like partners. Yeah, partners. <laughs> oh. 
So you'll call me? I am 77% sure she's not a robot. Doesn't sound good. Better check it out. Hey, Peter. Miles, you done with your assignments? Yeah, and I can see why it's so important. But listen, I took a look at those web shooters in your bag. Are those for me? Yes, but only when you're ready. What were you doing in my bag? It was open, and I could see them, sort of. And I, uh, I just noticed that the nozzle size and shape is the same as your other ones. Yeah, so? Well, according to Hooke's law, elastic forces linear with distance given all factors are equal. But you and I aren't equal. Wow, you're right. Just a few pounds can affect tensile strength, rate of web fluid consumption. And a few other things. But I've done all the calculations. If we just tighten the nozzle diameter by 0.7 millimeters, it all pretty much evens out. I think I've officially underestimated you. That's a good thing, right? Seems like you're more than ready for field training. As soon as I'm done dealing with Hammerhead. Yes! Can I start practicing with the web shooters in the meantime? Nope. And if I find out you even left the house, I'll call it off. Man, you're like the most and least fun superhero ever. Hammerhead's crew have a Sable agent pinned down. Not exactly a fair fight. Let's even the odds a bit. Hey, you have to teach me how you do all that. I wish I could say there was an art to it. Mostly I just try to go where the bullets aren't. Well, I am in your debt. What were these guys after? These are humanitarian supplies bound for some carrier. You have heard of the civil unrest? I heard it was more of a civil war. Indeed. Well, these men attacked me and stole most of the supplies. But they took them... I do not know. I'll keep an eye out and let you know if I find any. Nice to meet you, uh... David. David Obademi. <laughs> Spider. Spider-Man. Okay, that sounded way less awkward in my head. Hey, MJ. Peter, head to Soho. I have a lead I need you to check out. One of my jailhouse sources just told me that some of Hammerhead's guys are always at a certain pizza shop. Maybe you can trail them, find out where Hammerhead's supplies are. You know, just once I'd like to have a phone call where we talk to each other about our days, like normal people. Okay, so, honey, how was your day? Well, uh, Sable and I caught some bad guys. Oh, so you are working together. In concept. You two have to find a way to work it out. Hammerhead's too powerful to take on alone. My jailhouse source also said that Hammerhead's using this Project Olympus stuff to, quote, improve himself even further. First, He was already a walking tank. Exactly my point. If you two don't stop him soon, he might become unstoppable. Ah, uh, too many people around. I'm not gonna be able to get close looking like this. Maybe if I ditch the suit. There. Now I'm just your average New Yorker. Hey, I think that's the place that got a three-star review in the Bugle last week. No wonder it's crowded. That mine or yours? Mine. Yeah, what's up? Okay, tell them we're on our way. Hey, come on. We gotta run an errand for Tony. Now? We're almost to the front of the line. I know, I know. Just come on. Need to run an errand for Tony? Those have to be Hammerhead's men. Better follow him. But not too close. So what do we gotta do for Tony? Get his laptop. Guess he left it in his car. You serious? Why can't he get his own damn laptop? Boss probably has him doing something more important. Somebody following us. Be cool, Pete. Be cool. Hmm. Guess not. But where is the boss anyway? Hey. I don't know. Tony probably does, though. He's tight with the boss. Damn, freaking Tony. Man, 
I should be the one who's tight with the boss. Okay, sure. Hey, that kid look familiar to you? Oh, look, someone posted a cat video. Better watch that right now. Yeah, all these kids look the same. He's also the one who helped the boss come up with that trap for the Sable chick. Yeah, like that's ever gonna work. I don't know. Sounds like a good plan to me. And if we get her, we get the rest of her stuff, so... So now you're on Tony's side? I see how it is. Taxi! Taxi! Listen, I'm gonna go talk to Sal. Keep people off the lot for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, frickin' Tony. Gotta get closer to hear what they're saying. If I can't get next to them, maybe I can get above them. Need to get out of sight. Can't be climbing walls until I'm hidden. No one can see me. Now I can climb up to the rooftop. If I get above those guys, I can hear them. Gotta get to that alleyway. <laughs> Swear on my mother's grave. Guy thinks he's next in line. Ha! Ah, next in line to shine my shoes, maybe. Ain't that the truth. Anyways, Tony said he needs his laptop. Guess it's got all kinds of important stuff on it. As laptops do, we put it up in C3. Slot C3, huh? If I can get Tony's laptop, it could lead me to Hammerhead. Let's see if I can hack into it. Bada bing. Looks like he's got a Find My Phone app installed. Let's see where you are, Tony. Hi, honey. How's your day? <laughs> Busy. Next even research on some Caria. I'll make it quick then. Your tip was a good one. I'm on my way to one of Hammerhead's top men. If anybody knows where Hammerhead is, it's him. That's great. And one of his guys mentioned setting a trap for Sable. What do you think that means? I think it means a bunch of old school mafia thugs feel threatened by a confident, powerful woman. Uh, right. Sorry, Pete. I don't mean to blow you off, but I'm on a deadline, so... Yeah, totally. Talk later. No, I don't know when she's coming. You just gotta be ready. There's Tony. I don't think that's enough, guys. Double it up. <laughs> <You're fucking... gasps> hey, Spider-Man. You see that Sable chick? You tell her, my boss wants to have a sit-down. Yeah, I could. But she doesn't really listen to me. Or anyone. Give me the address. Wait, where did, how did... The address! Uh, Klexco building. Rooftop. No, wait, it's probably an ambush! You're headed into a trap! It does not matter, as long as Hammerhead is there. You don't get it! I'm trying to keep you from getting hurt! I can take care of myself. Usually you can, but Hammerhead's been using your Project Olympus stuff. I know. Then you know he's turned himself into some kind of giant Franken-monster! And that is why I must stop him. But not like this! Not by going right into a trap! Oh, Sable, what are you doing? Oh, hey, look, a trap. If only we had some kind of advanced warning. Ugh, I can handle this. I'm sort of tempted to sit back and watch, but that would just be petty. They're trapped over their own tech. Looks like the whole thing is powered by those generators. Okay, now how do I get her out of this? One down. Doing okay in there, Sable? Or is it silver? Or is it something else? Ah, what do your friends call you? Wait, you don't have any friends, do you? I bet you're proud of that for some reason. Ah. The hell? That's it! Okay, now let's get out of here. No. If we 
Stay here. Hammerhead will come to us. Uh, not so sure that's a good idea. Can we please get out of here now? You're alive. Did you honestly think I was dead? Uh, uh, how, how did you find me? Same way she did. Watch out. That girl has trust issues. How long have you been watching me? Watching us? Long enough to know you're making a mistake. Hammerhead's gotten too powerful. Do you really think I have a choice? Here. Wait, is that... Everything you need to know about that ugly thing. Sorry for what I did to you. But now we're even. One more thing. His head not as strong as you think it is. Bye, Felicia. Let's see what's on this thing. If they're keeping Sable in that base, I bet they have those stolen humanitarian supplies in those other bases. I should call David about this. Hello. Hi, David. It's Spider-Man. I think I may have found those humanitarian supplies bound for Simcaria. Great. Can you send me the locations? Well, there's just one wrinkle. They're in heavily fortified bases guarded by bionic madmen with futuristic weapons and impenetrable armor. That is quite a wrinkle. Why don't I scope out their hideouts first and get back to you? Thank you, Spider-Man. I greatly appreciate all your help. Time to check in with MJ. Peter, are you okay? I saw people posting pictures of you and Hammerhead and Sable and... And Black Cat. Normally she brings bad luck, but not this time. I knew she was still alive. What was she doing there? Saving my skin. And giving me a lead on Hammerhead's hideouts. Turns out he's been stashing all of the stolen Sable tech underground. What? How? I'm on my way to find out. And hopefully rescue Sable. If she's still alive. Listen, I've been digging into this Simcaria thing. It's a big story, something I feel like I need to be a part of. My boss agrees. Wait, you're going to Simcaria? When? Tonight. 
It's a rapidly developing situation. You and Sable can take care of Hammerhead. You don't need me. Just because I don't need you doesn't mean I don't need you. That's sweet. But listen, other countries are ignoring this crisis, including ours. These people are helpless, all alone in the middle of a war zone. If I document what's happening and share it with the rest of the world, it might change things. Maybe even save lives. Spoken like a true hero. But the thought of you heading into a war zone, it worries me. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then we're good. I gotta go home and pack. I'll call you tomorrow when I get there. I love you. I love you too. No, Jared, I said I wanted crushed ice, not, what do you mean, we're live? Oh, ha <laughs> ha, listeners, brush heads, stop me if you heard this one. The Spider-Man just chased a bunch of thugs through the streets, putting citizens in danger and leaving millions in property damage in his way. And this time, he had a little help from a certain silver-haired vigilante who turned the financial district into her own personal shooting gallery with a flying death machine. But that's not the worst of it, folks. Oh, no. What could be worse, you ask? The trap! The gridlock! It was so bad that yours truly missed a very important dental appointment. Now I have to wait six months for the next opening. How many other people miss dental appointments because of this? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Which, of course, leads us to the obvious conclusion. Spider-Man causes tooth decay! Hi, David. I'm at one of the hideouts. I'm surprised Sable had you working alone on this. I resigned from Sable International in order to ensure the supplies made it to Zakaria. Guess she's a true mercenary at heart. Even choosing weapons over aid for her own people. Sable is more than a mercenary. Trust me. Anyway, let me know if you find those supplies. And thank you. That's me. Hey, David! Got a question! What is that noise? Are you fighting right now? Oh, yeah. I'll try to keep it down. I was just wondering, how much do you know about Sable's home country, Simkaria? Well, the Simkarian government has been consolidating power for over a decade. They are now effectively a dictatorship. The opposition party, led by the Sablinova family, was either exiled or executed. Simkaria has been in civil war ever since. We know the civilians are out in the middle, with no way to escape and no way to go. So Sable might have lost some of her family in the conflict. Yes, the conflict in Simkaria is more personal to her than she would ever let on. There they are. Hi, David. I recovered some of your supplies. Sending you the location now. Thank you, Spider-Man. I will get there as fast as I can. Great. And if it helps, I have a couple police contacts. I can ask them to help you out if... Oh, no, no, no. That will not be necessary. I have it under control. Thank you again. Huh. Alrighty. Hi, David. Just found another Hammerhead hideout. Please, be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Put some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> no, no. It's just... It's nothing. And do not worry about shipping. I will take care of it when the time comes. Hey, they have a... Everything going okay? Oh, sure. You know, the usual. But I'm glad you called. How did you end up working for Sable International anyway? I guess you could say the job found stuff. Go on? No, seriously. Hammerhead's guys aren't great conversationalists. Back home. I was a math teacher. I wanted to put my student eyes to the possibilities beyond our village. Even when the rebel uprising began and people started leaving the village, my students still came to school. And yet, if I had known what was to come, maybe I would have acted differently. It happened in the morning, right as school began. There were nine of them, all with automatic rifles. They asked for names. I would not give any. Their patience wore out. They raised their rifles to shoot me. And that's when she came. Who? Silver Sable. She took 
got the whole group. She saved me and her children. And that is why I owe her my life. Huh. She's a harmless mercenary, but she's sometimes almost likable. Sometimes. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of Simkarian lives. Why Simkaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simkaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Hmm. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Reports are flying in about an incident in Midtown involving, you guessed it, Spider-Man. It's the same old story. Same old menace. Here's a terrifying little figure. My sources tell me that the Magia crime boss Hammerhead is now gone, and I quote, full side. First we have robotic octopuses, and now a messed up Magia? Ugh. Whatever happened to the good old days when criminals would just put on a dime store mask Stick their finger in their pocket and try to rob a bank. All right! Spider-Man happened! Hi, David. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct, just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. <sighs> I had a work visa with Sable International. It became yeah. valid when I quit. Then and I need to share credit for quitting deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I can help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. Hey, what's up? Hi, MJ. Can I ask a huge favor? Sure, sure. what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, I know someone who might be a good friend. If we have it. I think some of the supers are offering H1Ps based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call her out. There are the supplies. David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simkarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Hey David, what's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David? David! Hold on, I'm on my way. Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. There's David. He's in trouble. Gotta move. Hi, David. You look like you could use a little help. You okay? I think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. But I meant what's next for you. Well, a few minutes ago I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Ah, is it me? Or is the world a little brighter right now? This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. And 
Finally! Finally! One brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods! We have clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Simkari. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for whips. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this mass lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time. Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone. Women and children struggling to survive hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. <laughs> Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello? amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. This place looks like their main base of operations. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Project Olympus. These pods were... I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side. Now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out! Now that's what I like to hear. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. back for me. Why? Because I need you. I work alone. 
I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. I think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Okay, here's the plan. Oh. Good plan. was awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. And steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to heat. I have an idea. I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow. But yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So... You have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. Hey, Peter. Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say, you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah, after she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon. Then dinner and I... Sorry, um... 
can go back for a moment. What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Huh. Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever's doing this must have access to this stuff. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. But was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You 
have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, Mendo. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Doc. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Why did I listen to that? Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this Enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. That's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. I know what you're going to say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time. But there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Let's get to work. So where's this face you talked about? Boys are so much cooler than mine. I love this invisible floating fortress thing, but now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it. 
So let us work quickly. I have acquired the Class V laser array. We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Lucky for us, I'm working on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. Whoa, nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field, aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So, we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, Shepard, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? Done. How's it look? Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. Ready? Ready. Bombs away! Hit it! Pull! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun! Here comes another one! Nice shot! Is this how modern militaries keep shooting? Oh, oh! Can we do one more? Please? You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. One more thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Of course we do. System ready. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. You two teaming up now? Cute. But it ain't gonna do no good. Uh, Sable? Could use a little help here. The laser is down. Can you fix it? I am trying. Okay. I'll just yeah. do the hammerhead waltz for a bit. Okay, time to get personal. Still no respect. What's it gonna take? Do you know what I respect? A guy who knows when to quit. Commencing bombing run. Damn, I missed. Keep them coming. I'll make sure the next one hits. Shoot him! I am trying. Was fun. Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. Right. You have a war to fight. I do not like to fight. I do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am 
no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. I don't do hugs. Yeah, right. Of course. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? I, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. Ready? Uh, I think the web shooters are a little tight. Get used to it. Just try to keep up. Okay, Hammerhead's finished, but his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. Today is a fine day in New York City. At long last, Hammerhead has been taken down for good. Cyborg parts and all. I will even give Spider-Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final blow. However! While the mainstream media trips over itself to heap lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. Garrett, call my doctor and double all my prescriptions. I'm in the red here, folks. Eyewitnesses have confirmed that there is no longer just one Spider-Man, but two of them. I mean, one is bad enough, but I'm having a hard time dealing with the idea of multiple menaces swinging through our beautiful city. It's just... It's just... Garrett, I might be having a heart attack. I need to lie down, folks. No, don't call an ambulance. It's too expensive. Call a cab. I have a coupon in my wallet. Don't go in my wallet, Darren. I'll do it. I'll do it. 